Hello my beautiful friends welcome or welcome back to the cup tarot my name is Raya and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at what messages you're supposed to be receiving from your elders and past loved ones all right now as always you have three piles in front of you please make sure when it comes to your selection you select the one that most speaks to you and feel free if you want to listen to all the piles because these are messages from an your ancestors and past loved ones so you may want to you know sort of receive a lot more if you choose i'll give you some time and then we start with pile 1 If you've selected pile one, then these are the messages you're supposed to be receiving from your ancestors and past loved ones. So basically, for you, your ancestors and loved ones are here to tell you that you yourself are a channel of healing, and you need to allow yourself to heal. The thing is, maybe there are some things that have happened in your life. Maybe this is associated with the passing of a loved one, or this is associated with some things that happen in your life. You're not allowing yourself to heal. You're not allowing yourself to be that complete person, to be that normal person. Yeah. So the message essentially is: don't carry grief. Don't carry things that you're not supposed to be carrying. There is a possibility of carrying too many burdens. So set it aside. That is not yours to carry, and allow that healing to come into your life. The ancestors and past loved ones want you to have a good life. They don't want you to let sort of be under some kind of burden. Is the message for you? They also here to tell you that your life. purpose whatever that is is choosing to support you so if you're trying to earn a living if you're trying to you know accomplish something if you're trying to have a family or support your family then they are supporting you so don't ever feel like you know they've left you or you're all alone you have to do this all on your own that is not the case they are here to support you in fact they shelter you See the thing is when it comes to our past loved ones or when it comes to our ancestors we don't see them but they see us and they in our times of difficulties when we are at down and out they support us you know they almost give us this hug yeah but we can't see it but it doesn't mean that they are not around they are always around you now your loved ones are also here to tell you that you know you need to experience life you need to have a full life so don't let one area of your life define you or don't allow the things that have happened to you define you and they are also here to tell you that their connection with you is very strong and it continues even after they've passed away because that is the cord of love that is the energy of love and that continues so even though you may not be able to see them they are still around and they still love you they love you that is the message they want you to have right now at this very moment for a couple of people this message could also be coming from a pet okay now i'm just getting multiple sort of energies out here so i'm just giving the messages as they come but whatever it is they're here to tell you have a full life do what makes you happy do what sparks joy because in the end they want to see your happiness your past loved ones and you know your ancestors are also here to tell you that you are one person who is very responsible and the strange part is you are very different from people around you you are very different from other members of your family and because of which you are chosen as a leader when it comes to the things that are of multiple you know value or sort of a huge value you are the person who stands strong you are the person who takes charge that is because you have that responsibility but once again if you've taken up this responsibility don't burden yourself with it if you feel like some things are not for you or you cannot do it anymore set it aside okay also Your past loved ones and ancestors are here to question you. What is it that you need to release? Because some things that you have, you absolutely don't need. Are they memories associated with a person's passing, or are you sort of torturing yourself with something that happened in the past, or you're just carrying too many emotional baggages? But regardless, release because something is not serving you anymore. Release what needs to be released now. they also here to tell you that you need to sort of 
step outside your comfort zone the thing with you is you know you can have a beautiful life you can have a grand life but you're not willing to take a risk you're not willing to go the whole way you're not willing to make the changes because that is the way they are seeing things with you right now they're telling you take that risk take that risk in love take that risk when it comes to life take that risk when it comes to your work because that will pay off don't get stuck in the comfortable because maybe that is what they see when it comes to you they see that you're just going for what is okay and comfortable they also here to tell you to always remember that you are the captain of your own ship and when a captain of a ship has a position they don't take orders so that is how it is for your life if you want to set your sails on a particular direction set sails okay set the course of your own life then don't take directions from somebody else because you know you are different the way you do things nobody else can do it so don't follow anybody is also a message for them now they are also here to tell you that you need to forgive yourself with regards to something now the message i'm getting here is you know maybe you have some sort of a gate or uh, maybe this is about the passing of a loved one like they you were not able to spend as much time with them or uh, maybe for a couple of you you could not you know tell them how you really felt but there's some kind of guilt that you're carrying and they are here to tell you that there is no need for guilt there is absolutely no need for guilt things happened the way they were supposed to happen yeah because remember god has a plan forgive yourself you're not responsible for anything that's a message for you and once again they come to you with a lot of love they come to you with a lot of support they are here to tell you i am with you don't ever feel like i have left you because that is absolutely not the case how could i ever leave yeah they also here to tell you that remember anything that starts has an ending and after every ending there is a new beginning so that is what they want you to have in your life they are here to tell you that don't be concerned with too much of past past memories past people because life is offering you so much they want you to look forward they want they don't absolutely want you to look backward because what has happened has happened that cycle is complete as it was supposed to happen so think about your future plan a future have a beautiful life they're telling you heal focus on your healing don't carry the baggage of the world on your shoulder okay they love you unconditionally is the message go out plant new life seeds so for your future so once again that is what they here to tell you you know see the past has happened the way it was supposed to be don't remain stuck in that go forward with your life plant some new seeds have some new plans have some new dreams think about your future because they want you to be happy and they want you to have a glorious future because remember this they are going to be with you every step of the way and they want to see you happy they want to see you celebrate so celebrate them celebrate yourself and celebrate your life okay and once again i'm getting this strong message of an animal spirit i've been getting that constantly and they are here to tell you that you know animals are a huge part of comfort to you and once again if this is a message from past pet it's time that you sort of like get somebody new into your life okay pet maybe because pets are a source of unconditional love and for some people you know the message is you need more than one pet okay because i feel like that's coming through i don't know why but that is the message because it's almost like the more the merrier you need more love you need more support and you need to be able to love somebody once again okay i feel like you have a lot of love to give but uh, maybe because of a loved one's passing it's like you don't feel it anymore and they also here to tell you that you need to believe in yourself you need to believe in your own abilities see they are here to tell me that you know you doubt yourself like you have so many self doubts but they are like if you could only see yourself the way i see you if you can only see the glorious future that you are going to be having they want you to believe in yourself as much as they believe you so i feel like once again this is a message from a past loved one who sort of always believed in you who was sort of your champion okay who always wanted you to be the winner 
so that is what they want to see you as they want to see you as a winner yeah and trust love and appreciate yourself show yourself respect they here to tell you you've lost that ability to love you've lost that ability to support and you've in certain ways lost the ability to show respect for yourself learn to respect to yourself learn to respect your boundaries it's okay to say no to couple of things it's absolutely okay okay wow see wherever you are at this very moment they're standing right next to you yeah and they're saying all of these things to you they're telling you that they are there for you they see you and once again like this card you know they give you that hug when you are down and out but you don't see it yeah so right now wherever you are they are standing next to you they are like you know did you really think i was going to leave you now this person is kind of goofy okay the one who delivered this message uh, i'm sensing a partner spirit out here of course it could be somebody else but this specifically is a partner i watch over you every day they've taken the role of your guardian angel they see you every day they make sure that you're okay and which is why when you struggle they feel very bad okay remember they come towards you with a lot of love it is beautiful where they are so that is what they here to tell you so they're telling you you know if you're thinking about where they are is it a good place are they happy they are like it's beautiful where i am and they are at peace yeah they are at peace remember when it comes to souls you know they can be in multiple places so once again with you they are with you all the time but on the other side you know it's a good place that's what they are here to tell you it was my time to go so once again with the guilt part don't have that guilt nothing you could have done would have been better or you know there's no such thing as you need to be guilty about this no it was their time to go yeah so don't feel bad about it and don't be guilty maybe somebody was not there at the time of their passing we are so connected you still very very connected yeah and your connection is like beyond life and death yeah remember they can see you you cannot see them and i am so much better now so the message i'm getting here is you know maybe this person during the time that they passed they were not really in a good condition but they here to tell you you know don't think of me the way i passed they telling you i am so much better i'm also the best version of myself in terms of health okay so nothing that you know sort of affected them in their lifetime affects them now so it's like they are back to their healthy self if i had only known then what i know now i would have lived differently so this also some kind of you know remorse over certain choices that they make yeah so if somebody in your family is sort of thinking like you know oh this person did not know this or they did not do this i wish they had done that or it could be you then they are feeling really bad about it they're like i see things so much better now and they wish they had lived differently and they see all of your thoughts they are so close to you they are so close that they can even read your thoughts and which is why they know when you're happy they know when you're sad and which is why they always want you to be happy they want you to be successful they want you to have a good life and life is a series of choices choose love so they want you to know that if you ever have a choice between choosing love and choosing anything that is not love they here to tell you choose love choose forgiveness choose kindness because in the end kindness forgiveness and love those are the only things that matter yeah but overall these are the messages from my ancestors and past loved ones uh, if you want to come with me to the next pile you're more than welcome if not i will see you next time bye hello and if you've selected like pile 2 then these are the messages that you're supposed to be receiving from your past loved ones and the messages have been insane guys so basically your ancestors and past loved ones are here to tell you that you in this lifetime have a very very important mission and in a way you know you're born to be a teacher 
you are born with so much wisdom and there is so much wisdom that you're going to be accumulating during this lifetime so you sort of have an inner calling is what they're here to tell you so don't refuse that inner calling yeah and don't let anything stop you don't let anything get in the way that's for you because you are born as a teacher in a way you're meant to serve the human realm is what your ancestors are here to tell you however in order to do that in order to serve a larger purpose you have to travel in a new direction so this could basically mean that you're supposed to be either relocating or with regards to your career there are going to be certain changes because you need to do this in order to learn something more in order to grow this way okay because you are a traveler and travel is written in your destiny however your ancestors and past loved ones are also here to tell you that right now there is a possibility that you're struggling with something however they are telling you if you're struggling with it too much just let it be don't try to solve everything right now just move away from it when things are supposed to be working out when things are supposed to be resolved they will okay right now just let go and do what you can to the best of your ability uh, there is also a past pet energy that is coming forth okay and i feel like these are two there is one dog and there is one cat just saying yeah and also your ancestors and past loved ones are here to tell you that right now you know probably you need more support or you probably need love because what is sort of missing from the whole equation of your life is love support and balance maybe your life is tilted too much in one direction and it has to either be in balance or it has to be sort of you know managed beautifully that is what is coming through but sort of bring love into whatever you do see what happens is you know when we don't have that energy of love anything we do is just routine and when you bring the energy of love everything becomes a living prayer for you and for that to happen you need to disconnect you're too connected with everything you're too connected with the world you're too connected with people sometimes and in order to learn what you're supposed to be learning and in order to perfect what you're supposed to be perfecting you need peace yeah that's what your past loved ones are here to tell you learn to disconnect spend time in nature because when you are in nature you are the best part of yourself and that is when you learn your lessons so take time to relax take time to breathe that's what they are here to tell you your past loved ones and you know your ancestors are here to tell you that you may be holding certain fears as to how certain things will work out whether they will work out they won't work out and they are here to tell you that they will but you just hold on to fear and the energy of fear and the energy of love is exactly anti to each other yeah it's opposites so either you can have fear or you can have love choose one thing choose love okay uh, once again you need to have a higher connection with the higher power see right now what is happening you know your connection is there it's not like it's not there but it is too engulfed with the world and it has to be outside the world maybe in nature so whenever you are meditating whenever you are chanting a mantra like disconnect from the world and just focus on the divine once again balance between the material and the spiritual plane has to be there because what will happen as a result of that you know you'll start getting downloads from the divine yeah and remember your past loved ones your ancestors are much more connected to that realm than the realm of materialism so if you feel like oh you know i don't feel the presence of my pet anymore i don't feel the presence of my past loved one anymore then they are here to tell you we are around but you don't feel us because you're so busy with so many things yeah and they want to talk to you but they cannot come through because of your own engulfment and because of which you need that time of relaxation you need that play time because in play time you know you become your most natural self you're more connected to the higher power and you're more connected to the divine so they'll be able to get through for to you much more quickly that way now we are going to be solely getting into the dimension of your past loved ones focus your mind on what you really want we are helping so your past loved ones are here to tell you that you know right now there seems to be a bit of confusion about what you want 
सो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दैट टेक दैट टाइम आउट एंड थिंक वॉट डू आई वॉन्ट इन माई लाइफ एंड दे विल हेल्प यू अचीव वॉट एवर दैट इज यू नो देर प्रेयर्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी हेल्पफुल सो दे विल हेल्प यू आउट Changes can bring you new life energy. We will hold your hand. So they are also here to tell you, you know, the change of direction that is going to be happening, or you need to make it happen. That will be good for you. And through all of these changes, all of these changes of energy, they will hold your hand because they are here to tell you that the next thing that you get into will be beautiful for you, and they will awaken your potential as that teacher, that master. and we are proud of you and aware of your achievements so your past loved ones are here to tell you you know we see you we see you achieving that we see you becoming the best version of yourself and we are very proud of you they are also here to tell you that recently you've gone through certain turmoils emotional turmoils and they saw you and they are so proud of the strength that you display they are very proud of you try not to worry we will bring helpful people into your life so if you feel like you know everything that you're doing you're doing it on your own they help you to tell you that we see the things that you're struggling with and they will bring helpful people in your life to assist you in your journey and we have fun you too must enjoy yourself so play time you know they are here to tell you that life is a beach we are having fun wherever we are and you should too so if you're the kind of person who's very worried about your past loved ones and they are at a very good place it's you that they worry about because they feel like you know somewhere you are struggling and they see that and they don't feel happy about that and we are ready for a change of scenery explored now once again you know i for some strange reason i saw this as we okay so maybe they see you the way and they are not happy with it and they are like you know we want to change we want to see a change in you we want to see you in a different place so can you just change things already now for this this could be a change of your energy or maybe change the way certain things are about your house this could be with clutter once again or with the way things are arranged in your place so they are like you know so we are exhausted with seeing things the way they are kindly change your scenery although you may not understand it now everything happens for a reason so when it comes to your life you know right now your past loved ones are here to tell you see everything happens for a reason the way this person passed it happened for a reason and you may not understand it but that is the way it was supposed to be because everything happens for a reason everything is planned i always give you a good night kiss yeah so they give you a good night kiss maybe they did that in their lifetime and they are like you know i always do that you don't feel it but i do that I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. So once again they are coming to you with a lot of love. Yeah? And once again the message for you is it's okay to let go. Okay? So if you're holding on to some things that belonged to them and you're wondering should I let this go? Should I just not let it go? They here to tell you it's okay. You know, it's okay to let go because in the end it's not about the things. yeah but they also here to tell you that they love you and they wish they had told you this multiple times every day my death was painless please don't worry or don't hold on to guilt so they here to tell you if you feel like or if you ever wondered did they feel pain or anything of the sort then they are like no i did not feel any pain i was not even aware it's like one minute i was here the next minute i was there okay for some this could have been a uh, by accident also this could be like once again for very specific people but it could be like one moment they were there and the other moment it's like not a uh, we are soulmates who this person is you know once again they're telling you that you are soulmates so once again they are going to be with you all the time all the time and they are because they gave you that good night kiss I will always point you in the right direction so that's what they are here to tell you so if you ever feel like you don't know what direction to go they will point you in the right direction 
okay so don't so much worry about it i feel like you're going to be fine you'll instinctively know what is right and what is wrong for you you have nothing to feel guilty about i feel like you carry some kind of a guilt around their passing maybe you weren't there or you feel like they were in a lot of pain or you just have some guilt you know of course with people passing there's always guilt i'm not going to sit here and tell you that i don't have any guilt about my grandmother's passing which happened just a couple of months back i hold on to that guilt but i guess together we just have to get over it yeah i'm not dead see they here to tell you that i am not dead yeah it's almost like you know it's a different plane this is our plane the human plane and this is the next plane so they're like i'm just on the different plane which is why you cannot see me but they are here to tell you that they are happy and they are at peace and they're learning over here they're learning certain lessons there maybe certain lessons that this lifetime taught them they are learning there we always have some kind of a life review after we pass so that is what is happening with them my mind is free okay so their mind is free they don't carry any burdens and they sure as hell don't want you to carry them as well they like i'm at peace i'm just in a different dimension i come and i kiss you good night every day i'm with you i help you so i'm not dead i'm surrounded by loving animals so once again if your family had animals or you know they had animals if they were young then the animals sort of you know like sort of were there to see them on the other side so don't really worry i mean you know especially when it comes to our animal guides they always wait for us at the other side so they here to tell you that i'm surrounded don't worry once again i'm getting this message from a furry friend that was getting at the beginning out here so maybe you know one of the pets that you had like an older pet maybe when you were younger or this was a family pet sort of welcomed your pet too i am with the rest of the family so i feel like if you are watching this then some other members of your family of course ancestors have been departed and when this person passed on they met the other side of your family yeah so everybody is together look at what kind of party they are having out there they have with the rest of the family and they are with animals okay so they are good they are good where they are and which is why their mind is free so you don't worry about them okay and we will be together again yeah so when you pass then they will be there to meet you on the other side and you have this little ant spirit okay and ants once again are a part of a colony so it's once again the message of soulmates is like we belong together like everybody belongs together and we will be on the other side yeah and they are not dead none of them are dead they are just on the other side seeing you supporting you and helping you live a good life i will see you next time bye hello and if you have selected pile 3 then these are the messages that you need to receive from your ancestors and past loved ones all right your ancestors and past loved ones are here to tell you that in life don't plan too much don't think too much right now wherever you are just take one step at a time because you have a larger destiny and when it comes to that larger destiny you cannot see everything right now you can just see what is in front of you so do your best that is what they here to tell you and remember you are on a path and on this path you have somebody helping you out so of course this could be your ancestors and the thing with you is you know your ancestors are here to tell you that we accomplished so much and now it is time for you to carry that baton forward and once again you know they here to tell you that there is a pattern that was with them and you are the person who sort of breaks that pattern or deviates from that pattern so once again you can be the people who sort of lead a different life from the people that you are born with like your family like they have certain belief systems and your belief systems are entirely different and in a way you know your belief system is sort of leading you to the right direction yeah so you are in fact going to help a lot of your past loved ones to sort of have a better life in the year after 
and your past loved ones are also here to tell you you know that they want you to take care of your health see right now what is happening is you know maybe when it comes to your health or when it comes to your mental health you may be struggling a little bit in order to get that into alignment in order to get your chakras into alignment yoga can help you so please have some kind of a routine around yoga to help you in your journey forward and your past loved ones and ancestors especially are telling you that you need to live your life consciously what is happening with you is you know you don't have any patterns you're just going any way you want to have a pattern have a plan have a program because that way you'll be able to work much more effectively so please be careful about what amount of time you're spending where and sort of have a plan around it now your ancestors and past loved ones are also here to tell you that as soon as you have a pattern around things you will be free and you'll also sort of have a lot of free time see what is happening in your case you know you are sort of in between two things and very soon a portal is going to open for you a portal of initiation and once you're done with that once you walk into this portal you will have an entirely different kind of a life you'll have the freedom that you need is what is coming through and your ancestors and past loved ones are also here to tell you that you and your loved ones are safe so if you're worried about the safety of people around you or yourself don't worry nothing could go wrong with you that is what they're here to tell you however they're also insisting on keeping things clean now if you are the kind of people things are messy around you clean it up because once again you know if you have mess in your life then it sort of harms your ancestors too because your past loved ones especially if they still are around in your house then they it sort of affects their energy too so it's not just you who gets affected it's the other spirits as well so please make sure you keep things clean and your ancestors are also here to tell you that one part of your destiny is to be a healer okay so wherever you are i feel like you already know how to heal yourself and if you just use the power of yoga to back this up you'll be able to do things in a much more effective manner but not only you it's like maybe there was somebody else in your family who was more like you than you know i don't know if there was another healer in your family but it's like you know you guys are almost you're almost carrying their baton forward is the message for you and this is a specific message from your past loved ones they are here to tell you maybe you sort of you know uh, have some issues around your mother or if your mother is not on the human plane maybe you struggle with certain feelings associated with her but they are here to tell you that as your feelings with your mother heal or about your mother heal or about her passing or life heal then your desires will sort of manifest a lot more rapidly see any healing okay any healing sort of changes our frequency our energy and maybe that is what you need problems that have held you back are now being cleared we are monitoring it so once again you know your ancestors and loved ones are here to tell you that maybe you were in some kind of problems but whatever problems you faced they are being cleared and they are sort of looking at you they are monitoring the situation because they are almost your spirit guides and they want things to be better for you which is why they are helping you we support you as you cleanse and clear both inside and out so once again you know your past loved ones are insisting on cleanliness body mind and spirit so first of all start from your immediate surroundings clean that up they'll support you because you need that positive energy you need more you know energy of light and what is around you is exactly the opposite so clean that inside and out stand up for what you know is right we are supporting you so if you have certain beliefs about your life and how you want to live it then stand firm your past loved ones your ancestors are here to tell you that we support you and once again i'm sensing the presence of a mother energy available to support you okay this is a motherly figure who's like 
with you in on your journey put on your dancing shoes and walk along the beach we encourage you to move so once again they want you to move maybe you are too stuck or maybe physically you have been too stuck because of which you know your energy has sort of lowered down a bit so get moving get into yoga get into uh, just walking if you want because they are encouraging you we understand that sometimes you may feel alone but we are always here so your past loved ones and ancestors are here to tell you that we see that you're lonely sometimes it's just us let's be real but remember our past loved ones are with us then too and that is what yours are telling you that we are always there you're never alone give yourself time be kind to yourself and heal in your own way so if there is somebody who has a past loved one who recently passed away and if you've not healed from it they here to tell you it's okay when it comes to healing you know there's no timeline to it you may feel like you're fine and you think about a loved one and that memory comes in and you're like all shattered and all down and out i know that i've been there i'm sort of going through that process myself but be kind through that process and heal in whichever way that you think is best for you we are easing the blockage which is holding you back go for it but once again you know i feel like there are certain blocks in your life or they are currently that are holding you back and they here to tell you that we are helping you we are encouraging you we are supporting you but you have to help yourself too on the physical plane so get moving yeah they'll help you out never forget you are loved love never dies so that's what your past loved ones are telling you look even though we are not around it's not like love is not okay love never dies love never will don't be afraid see maybe certain things about your future scare you or certain things about your life sort of scares you but they here to tell you like don't be afraid there's nothing to be afraid of don't take life too seriously you're doing that you're taking life way too seriously yeah focus on love i have a new understanding because the thing with your past loved ones is you know now that they've passed away they have a new understanding about life maybe they were also somebody who was very afraid during their lifetime afraid of the mistakes afraid of how things were supposed to be but they were like you know oh i wish i sort of had that understanding that i needn't be afraid yeah so they have a new understanding too remember me by the happy memories we created so they want you to think about the memories that you have together as a child is also what i'm getting here okay i'm sort of once again getting a child energy oh okay now i get this you know i feel like this also a young child who passed away yeah it's their energy too i was met by so many loving people so when this person passed away your past loved one they were not alone they were met by friends they were met by family and i'm also hearing they were met by pets hamster did anybody have a hamster it's it's very out of the blue but i'm just getting that message it's not your fault okay nothing is your fault nothing could have fixed things okay so if there's somebody who has some kind of a guilt then don't it's not your fault i'm just a thought away so whenever you want to reach them just think about them and think about whatever thoughts you want whatever you want to convey to them just talk because they can see you they can hear you they can even feel your thoughts so think about that i send you loving signs through nature so this particular loved one commu communicates with you by nature yeah through nature signs yeah that's their way of sending you love the earth is a school once again you know you have they have a new understanding and that is what they feel you know here we are not here to perfect anything we are here to learn okay we are just here to learn when we learn our lessons that's it and the greatest lesson is love there is no such thing as death it's just a different plane okay one minute you are here next minute you are there it's a different plane so there is no such thing as permanent death i feel healthy and happy so especially if this past loved one was not healthy when they passed 
then that is changed and they are back to their young and healthy self as a soul i can be in several places at a time so if you feel like you know oh how can my past loved one be in heaven or how can they be with me it's like it's a soul a soul doesn't have the limitation that human beings have they can be in several places so they can be with you and with another loved one at the same time yeah so they can be in two places and there is no time where i am time is only on earth yeah so once again which is why they are healthy and happy they haven't aged that is what they here to tell you yeah in fact they are back to one time where they were healthy and younger i'm getting a message okay and yeah time is only on earth we have been together in dreams so they visit you in dreams so if there's somebody out here who has dream visitations then those those dreams were not dreams they were actually visitations believe in yourself you can do it so they believe in you they want you to do well they want you to be happy they want you to believe in yourself and they also asking for your forgiveness in something i'm sorry i left i'm sorry i disappointed you in certain ways as a message can be for very few but that is how it is but they are saying i'm sorry i've become one of your guides yeah they they become your guide whoever this person is they become your guide and last one i have no pain so i feel like this person's uh, passing may have been painful but now they are not in any pain once again yeah and i feel like i'm going to give you more okay and i had to leave this way the way they passed that is the way they had to pass they they could have been no other way and they still with you you're not alone oh they are one of your guides so yeah they're not alone tears cleanse the soul so it's okay to cry for them you know because i feel like that will sort of make you feel better so it's okay to cry but they are here for you and they have no more earthly worries yeah they are done with whatever they were supposed to do here and they don't have any worry because of which when they moved on they are happy healthy and free but overall this is what you're supposed to be hearing from your past loved ones and as i wrap this up i'll leave you with my best wishes i'll see you next time bye